Welcome to Amuna is our future. Wishing you all a healthy winter. And please God, it should be with soul. It should be soulful. It's not enough for us to just, you know, do our thing. Just making sure everything's working good. All the different internet things. Right now we don't have Wi-Fi. So that's why this is going to be part two in the studio. Somehow, miraculously, I managed to make it to the studio, even though we're on a lockdown. The people here are, uh, were able to come and uh, we got special permission. So here we are in the studio. I don't know if the live feed's going to work at all, but um, that's what you guys, you have the opportunity to watch the, uh, the edited version. And hopefully in this part two, we're going to make it even more inspirational than normal. Once again, I don't know if it's working at all. I just know that I'm here and you guys are listening, hopefully either the final thing, at least on the Moon is Our Future podcast. Excitingly, we can always keep sharing it there straight after the class. I see some life. Abby Bernstein is watching. Welcome. And we're not going to say all your names. I try to keep that nameless, the people who come. But um, we do appreciate you. Right now, I'm on my live feed on my own Facebook. I'm just trying to get the word out there a little bit as well. If you want to hear the full class that I put out live, you go to Brez of Israel and just go down a little bit on the on the feed and you'll see, or go to the video section and you'll see the part one that was in my house. But this is the studio blessing for the new year, the new opportunity for all of us to do a new class, a new class with class, to have class, how we do things, to do things with knowledge and wisdom. Baruch Hashem, we have a holy safer here. Rabbi Nachman, breast lovers, beautiful book. And we can share that winter blessing. We all need good health right now. With the Corona challenge, it's still going. In the second lockdown in, a, in the Holy Land, it hasn't yet been re- removed, unfortunately. But thank God we're somehow functioning, moving ahead somehow. Schools are on the phones and we're still doing online classes. We have, thank God, put up some great classes from Gedalia Fenster that he's been able to do for Miami. Florida is experiencing slightly less lockdown, as I'm sure you guys have heard. You know, everything's reported nowadays, not that we're going to get political. But the other beauty is that all of us have the ability to tune in to a more inspired flow. That this year, Tavshim Pe'alef, gives us the opportunity for all of us to be a bit more real, to be more real of our life, how we do things, that we're not like under control by, God forbid, by anything, by the media or by people around us, that we are independent thinkers. We have our own Bechira. It's a gift that Hashem gave us. He chose us and He chose the world. He gave us all life, the whole world. And that's something important I spoke about in part one, that we're not into being exclusive. We're inclusive. That it's not a chosenness of inclus- of sorry exclusiveness, but it's inclusive. But in order to get inclusive, we have to have those intimate moments. That was the holy days that we just went through. This is a very deep idea that I'd like to discuss more in my book, United Souls. I've been talking about it more there. And I spoke about it in part one, a bit more detailed. But the concept is that all of us have the power within to be not only intrinsically one with Hashem. And even though right now we're experiencing Wi-Fi issues, but we're always connected to Hashem. We're always connected to the oneness to, to our Creator. It's not something which is ever disconnected. So even if we see on the Wi-Fi right now, it's up and down, so the live feed is a little bit weak, but we have to know on a, on a deep level that within, we have a soul connection. There's nothing actually blocking that connection. And even though we have a body, and we have all kinds of needs and physical wants and desires, that we still have a soul connection. And even if, for example, right now during this Corona challenge, where we're with the family more, or we're maybe, God forbid, online by ourselves more, and we have opportunity to watch all kinds of funny things, and hopefully not anything damaging to our soul, but we have the opportunity to use those moments to choose right, to choose how we use the internet, to choose when to disconnect, when to be with the family, when to face our life issues. And that should be something which really should be tamid. Should be Hashem Negdi tamid. That God is always in front of us. And it's not something we can ever take a holiday from. <laughs> People will say the high holidays, you know, because what they call these sukkah. And uh, we just went through in Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. So we are, I wasn't at work. I wasn't sitting in the office downstairs. 
but I wouldn't consider it a holiday because there's no real holiday when it comes to um, spirituality. We're always ready for our voter. We're always here to do what what our larger mission is, and everyone here has an ability to tune into that. It's not something which is you're ever really put or you're ever exempt from doing your spiritual work. So I do believe on a deep level, all of us, that we have intrinsic amuna, we have intrinsic soul connection, and that every one of us can tune in to our amuna classes with that inspiration. And that's why we thank again to be in this beautiful new studio. Please go this year. We're going to have new classes from Rav Shalom Arush. We're going to have the opportunity to connect in to a whole different level of Amuna classes. Right next to me is going to be hopefully Rav Dain Elgrad. We're going to have Rav Shalom Arush, and we're going to translate it into English. And we're going to have, be able to share with special guests. We already have Yosef Danil. Please go next Tuesday night. We'll be here and we'll have the opportunity also not only to have Yosef Danil, but we'll have people like guests. We've even been talking to Sublinimal. You know Sublinimal, very famous rapper, friend of mine. And we can bring some other people in from the music business and the because uh, the music energy is very important here. We want to be in an uplifted state. That's part of the highness of the high holy days. We want to bring that energy that we got of singing and music and inspiration that the world is so involved with. And every single media app, there's some sort of music and every single media movie, there's some sort of music playing. It's very important that we bring the people who make the music and share with Rav Orish that experience with Amuna and to be able to make a music of Amuna, Amuna music. That's one of the things that our goals is to have music of unity. Music that inspires the world, that uplifts the world. And we spoke about that in order to be able to create that feeling of togetherness, it's up to all of us on an individual level to choose to inspire people, to choose, as the concept is called Rak Chazak Miyamatz, as Moshe said to Yeshua in the Holy Torah, in Sefer, in Sefer Yeshua, and when he was giving over the, now the mantelpiece of leadership to Yeshua, he said, Rak Chazak Miyamatz, only strength and encouragement, encouragement and strength. This is the kind of mindset that Moshe wanted to give over to his student, to then be given over by that student to other students. That's the kind of mindset we need during going through such a corona challenge that we are. So that where we're coming up to right now, this whole full week to prepare for Shabbat Bereshis, Shabbos Bereshis. And we don't usually get a whole week. Usually Sukkot ends in the middle of the week or near the end. And we have to rush our preparation for Shabbat Bereshis. This year, we had a full week to learn the Pasha, to get into what it is. We even learned it on Simchas Torah. So we already got a pregame with the seven days of creation, those seven special lights that we talk about by the Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh Chazanenu, bring down that light of creation into our life to understand that there's awe. That it's just like in the Parsha, there's written this light that inspires us and clarifies who we are and what our purpose is, our mission. So we should know that there's a, there's a time frame of creation, just like the six days of creation, the six days of the week, there's 6,000 years of history, and we come to that 7,000 millennium we talked about, that's the Shabbat, and Barashas is Osis Bara Shabbat, that Hashem created the Shabbat, that was the whole purpose, it should be Shabbat, and that's the focus that we have in the word itself of Barashas, the creation is the root of all creation, comes out like the seminal drop that creates that child. There's that seminal drop of spirituality and light that came into the word Barashas and it's creating that light of Shabbat, of disconnect to reconnect. And that's the purpose, the climax of Tishrei that we're in right now. We're at that Zenith, that, that real high moment of Ravid the Ravin, of Shabbat, of Tishrei. And that's why it's important that we're putting out classes even this week, where we don't have the opportunity to have a Rav uh, Shalom Orish, a Muna Q&A class, but you can still send us your questions. And we please God in the new week, we'll have that class and you guys can sit here and share together with Rav Orish. And this year we don't have the Amuna tour in person. We have the Amuna online tour. So you guys can tune in to Rav Orish and his Amuna and his Garden of Amuna series and tune into that special light and get that inspiration, that joy that will help you deal with the struggles that we're all going through through his teachings, through applying them yourself, through doing the work yourself, to have that experience on a Shabbat of spirituality where you're disconnected to reconnect, to understand what it means to have a soul and to spiritualize those six days before and spiritualize six days after coming after Shabbos, the, the, the week should be elevated, should have a purpose and unification. So I ask all of you 
to share what we're doing this year, this new year. It's an opportunity which I want to hear your encouragement and strength. I want to hear what, how Muna is benefiting your life and how you guys can contribute towards the Amuna tour on an online platform, how you can share in your groups and your networks, and you can also give over your ideas of Amuna and share with Rav Oresh himself, his ideas of inspiration, and please go get blessings from him, and all the good things that we're trying to do here with the Daily Halakhic Corner, and Rav Yonatan Kaled, the Universal Garden of Amuna in English, and please God, we're going to have Rav Dainel God, hopefully we'll get some hashkafa, some, some ideas from him and a spiritual level of what he's going to give over, like in terms of how he's approaching this new year, and we'd like to hear from more from Gedalia Fenster, please God, a weekly, we'll try to put up a class from Miami, Florida, and we have the opportunity for new speakers, for new plat, for new partnerships, collaborations. The God with the Amuna tour classes. We have guests who bring their special light, like we had with Shlomo Katz and Nissan Black and Mordechai Ben Avram and other wonderful people, Benjamin Blackwell and all the white great people that came last year. Please God, we can bring them again and inspire everybody. Like yes, Daniel's going to come hopefully with a guitar and he's going to inspire us with some musical energy. The last time he came, it was during the three weeks, so we weren't able to have music from him. This time, please God, we'll have some music and the lockdown and all the different challenges that we're all going through. We'll have the strength and the encouragement to deal with it in a positive way with a muna and clarity. Now, I have to say, when I was sitting in my house and I gave the first class, which you're welcome to go back to, I did feel more of a flow. Like, I'm not feeling the flow right now, being honest, and being like, you know, straight with you guys tuning in. But that's the beauty of, of um, Amuna, that in the end, we're talking about important things, and it's not always about what you feel, like Adalia talks about. You know, it's not always basing your life, and Ravorish himself gives us guidance about how just by having a moon in itself gives us the power to tune in even when we don't feel connected, even when we don't feel like there's a flow going through. Like I have my podcast, the Unity Flow podcast, Relationship Flow podcast, that that power of tuning into a flow is really fundamental, can really make a big difference in our life. You know, with our marriages and our family and our friends, and especially right now in lockdown, we're spending a lot of concentrated time with family and friends to tune into the energy that's available in our life and not to be distracted by the pain or the sorrow of what seemingly seems to be going on. That we have the connection, we have an intrinsic flow with each other. We're really all one. That's the real truth of reality. And I do believe that would fix a lot of the problems in the world right now there's so much divisiveness and there's so much uh politicization especially the corona challenge all of us have the ability to say no i'm tuned in to the unity aspect of it to the muna part i know that everything is meant to be and i know that we're all ultimately all united as souls and we all have a purpose together in this world and there is a path of Yeshua's of salvations and there is a path of positivity and we can overcome this and I don't have to give in to the anger and the fear but I can actually be part of the realm of joy and happiness and calmness and it's something which personally I'm working on like it's not something which is like I'm mastered you know this is a daily daily battle to overcome and as you go in from life so do the challenges get higher and higher like your kids get older the bigger problems come and you have an opportunity now to Ms. Gabby, even to deal with yourself right now like a rabbi Rabbi Moshe Tuvia left said very profoundly and very importantly and uh, he's one of the big rabbis now part of a goodest as well he spoke and said that everyone's at risk <laughs> it's not just the children at risk but we're all at risk every one of us we're at risk with the phones and with the with whatever's going on in the streets and just the the struggle with the children and the, the education system and the financial system and the government and you know and the, the way the media is portraying everything we're all at risk and that opportunity is to tune into that intrinsic place of encouragement and strength to not be pulled down by what we're at risk from but to actually realize we have the power to go through everything that we have the power to overcome all our challenges and that all of us this year please go we're starting off with Barashas with Avram Avinu's light is hidden in the Pasha Hebram is hidden the words Hebram that Shem created with the light of Avram Avinu this light of Amuna, this light of love is in the Pasha within Pasha Barashas it's in the beginning with the Or Kitov this great light that's good and the Shabbat 
that has that light of Amuna when everything goes up and we become partners in creation. This is the kind of light we tune into in this week's Parsha Bereshis, and that will give us the strength to go into all the Parshas ahead. Wherever we may read it, if we're in shul, if we're at home, we have the ability in the, in the beginning to tune in to a tremendous chizik, a tremendous light that comes down on this part Shabbos, on this Shabbat. It's the light of Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur Sukkot. It's all within the Shabbat, this light. And it's the climax of Tishrei. So it has all the energy of the month that we've just gone through together, concentrated. And all of us can pray and to bring out a more unified experience in our life. And we shouldn't be downcast. We shouldn't be, be fearful from what we're seeing online, seemingly the lack of that, or we're hearing from family and friends, or God forbid, we're even struggling with all kinds of things. We should be healthy and we should have the strength and the emotional strength to face our life, to come out with a muna and positivity. And please God, you know, like I said, go to part one. I was more flowing in that one. And I appreciate that you joined us in part two. And it's all good because this is the flexibility and emotional intelligence and versatility that we're demonstrating here by doing two classes this week because of the, you know, lockdown. I wasn't sure I could get here. Now we're here, we're doing the edited version. If you have the opportunity to tune in to both classes, putting up both of them, please God online already. The Brez of Israel platform has the Facebook and YouTube live feed. And please God, we're going to put it out there again and again, a few different places, even Instagram will get it out there. Maybe a little bit of TikTok and all those other funny places that we can put um, nowadays. But the main point, the Nukuda Tova, the Panemius, the inner aspect, the Eitz Chaim that's in this week's Pasha, the inner aspect, the truth, the eternal path, that has to be with us choosing. We have the power to choose and to choose with encouragement and strength and not to be pulled down by the seemingly overwhelming um, struggle that we're up against, that we have the power. We have a soul. We're part of the oneness. We're not restricted by anything. Ultimately, we have a soul, even though right now we're in lockdown seemingly, but we have a soul. So we're united on a soul level. We're all together, really. And my father's birthday today is 79. I'm with my father, even though he's not here physically. And I'm with all my friends and family, all the people I love chilling with. We're able to talk a little bit online. It's not the same as being in person. We're able to tune into Ravorish online. It's not the same as being in person, but we have the power on the soul level to, to tune in that we're all one, that we're all souls, and we're all tuned into this ultimate flow. And that, but please God, will give us the strength to go ahead with these Amuna classes with encouragement and strength to put out that energy this year that we can do it, that we can share Amuna and the Brez of Israel and, and all the other great people out there and all the great platforms that are putting out positivity and encouragement all these podcasts nowadays there's so much positivity there to be able to tune into that light and to get it out there you can tune into my podcast tune into you know all the other great podcasts i mentioned during these classes you can tune into your own podcast let's hear from you let's share more muna in the world and please god we'll see that with the muna and unity mindset of united souls that were already bound together like i'm writing about in my book and i'm putting out there that that will bring this world to a completion because we're working together we're not fighting like Cain and a and hevel we're not like cain and abel we're not fighting we're not jealous we're not we're able to tune in that everyone has their role everyone has their purpose everyone has their mission and there's no jealousy and we're here to join together it's not about ego it's not about me being famous or you being famous or anybody else being famous online. It's about us doing our purpose and accomplishing Amuna classes that help bring clarity and strength and encouragement to go ahead with our life with unity and Amuna and with, with only good news and good health and blessings of soul and, and, and everything good. Please, God, it should be a beautiful Shabbat gracious. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the new week with a hopefully the Wi-Fi here, so we can do it all in one class and get the, all the energy compounded into one space. And please go with Rev Shalom Morish and our guests and the translation and all the other classes. Everything's going to get back moving in a more energized level. And you guys can make it more powerful and profound by sharing it out there with your friends and family on your networks and we can come please god to the tick and shalom the fixing of the hate of the adam arish in this week's Pasha, fixing it up with the light of voracious of yira boshis to have true awareness and true humility that we can come together with thank you for tuning in enjoyed every moment i don't know if instagram works but it's all good Keep sharing the love.